Welcome back everyone. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Let's start with Citrix Interview Preparation Part 2. This section I will focus on Citrix Technical Interview Questions and covers first 40 questions and answers. We'll cover remaining 40 questions in next video. Make sure to like and subscribe for upcoming videos. What is FlexCast Management Architecture? The FlexCast Management Architecture, FMA, is a service-oriented architecture that allows interoperability and management modularity across Citrix technologies. FMA provides a platform for application delivery, mobility, services, flexible provisioning, and cloud management. What are the some differences between IMA and FMA? IMA stands for Independent Management Architecture where FMA stands for FlexCast Management Architecture. We can differentiate IMA and FMA on following architectural and functionality basis. What is a Citrix farm? A farm is a group of Citrix servers which provides published applications to all users that can be managed as a unit, enabling the administrator to configure features and settings for the entire farm rather than configuring each server individually. All the servers in the farm share a single data store. What is a site? A site is the name you give to a Zen app or Zen desktop deployment. It comprises the delivery controllers and other core components, virtual delivery agents, VDAs, connections to hosts, machine catalogs, and delivery groups. You create the site after you install the core components and before creating the first machine catalog and delivery group. Can Zen App 7.6 or above version site include Windows 2008 and 2012 servers? Yes. Based on the new FMA architecture you can have a single site using Windows 2008 R2, Windows 2012, 2012 R2 and above. What are Citrix Zones? Zones can help users in remote regions connect to resources without necessarily forcing their connections to traverse large segments of the wide area network. In a Citrix virtual apps and desktop service environment, each resource location is considered a zone. Zones can be helpful in deployments of all sizes. You can use zones to keep applications and desktops closer to users, which improves performance. Zones can be used for disaster recovery, geographically distant data centers, branch offices, a cloud, or an availability zone in a cloud. Explain what is the purpose of zones. Data collector stores information about zones, information regarding user session and published application. A farm consists of a subset referred as zones. It consists of various server members. One of the server members is referred as zone data collector. Zones are useful in traffic controlling. Using zone data collectors, communication is established among zones. What is zone data collector in Citrix? A data collector is an in-memory database that maintains dynamic information about the servers in the zone, such as server loads, session status, published applications, users connected, and license usage. What are the different port numbers used in Citrix? ICA use port, 1494. XML port, 80 and 443. Session reliability, 2598. License, 27000. Vendor Daemon, 7279. License Management Console, 8082. IMA, 2512 and 2513. Database, TCP 1433 Microsoft SQL Server. DNS, TCP UDP 53. And TFTP, UDP 69. What is ICA? ICA means Independent Computing Architecture. It's a protocol for client-to-server communication. ICA or Independent Computing Architecture is Citrix's alternative to Microsoft RDP or Remote Desktop Protocol. This protocol is designed by Citrix to specifically deliver graphical display data along with input commands of mouse and keyboard over the network. This proprietary protocol provides specifications for data being transferred between servers and clients while not being bound to any platform. It uses and listens on TCP port 1494. How many virtual channels in Citrix ICA? You can create a maximum of 32 virtual channels. 17 of the 32 channels are reserved for special purposes. What are the two most common ports used on ZenApp ICA sessions and what are each used for? Ports 1494, ICA HDX, 
and 25984, Session Reliability. What is session lingering? Session lingering is used to keep a session active for a period of time after a user has closed an application in the event that if they do decide to reconnect back within the allocated time the existing session will just be used. This ensures fast launch of an application. What is session pre-launch in Citrix? The session pre-launch help all or specified users access applications quickly by starting sessions before they are requested. In the default configuration each session starts, launches, when a user starts an application and remains active until the last open application in the session closes. What is session reliability? Session reliability keeps sessions active and on the user's screen when network connectivity is interrupted. Users continue to see the application they are using until network connectivity resumes. With session reliability, the session remains active on the server. In Zen App 6.5, if we launch two different apps that are both hosted from the same server, it only creates one session. Is this still the case in 7.6 and above versions? This is called session sharing and it does work in Zen App 7.6 and above. Explain the use of shadowing in Citrix. In Citrix, shadowing resembles for one user to join remotely to another user. One user can use the session of another user remotely. What is Citrix XML Broker? The Citrix XML server is a component of Citrix Zen App and Zen Desktop that's used to enumerate available resources and provide secure tickets for users that to use the web interface or cloud gateway. The Citrix XML service is most commonly used to provide users access to their applications and desktops via a web portal, leveraging the services of web interface, cloud gateway, storefront, or access gateway. What is LHC or Local Host Cache? Local Host Cache is the mini database on server. It helps to make sure that the users can still launch the applications just in case database goes down, for example if a Zen App server losses its connectivity to data store then it will use the information it has in its local host cache. When was LHC reintroduced in FMA? Local Host Cache reintroduced in Citrix Zen App Zen Desktop 7.12. How to recreate LHC in IMA If the Citrix IMA service fails to start or you have a corrupt local host cache, then the IMA local host cache database may be corrupt or the Citrix server may be unable to connect to the data store. Run the below commands as admin on problematic server if the LHC is corrupted. DS main forward slash refresh LHC DS main forward slash recreate LHC Restart IMA service and check. Explain how you can view the LHC information. The LHC information can be found in the file IMA LHC.mdb under following folder path. What is connection leasing in Citrix? When you enable connection leasing, each controller caches user connections to those recently used applications and desktops during normal operations when the database is available. Citrix connection leasing in Zen App Zen Desktop 7.6 Plus pushes the availability further ensuring that if in the event the database is inaccessible, users' most recent connections to desktops and applications are cached on delivery controllers and connections can continue to be brokered. When was connection leasing introduced? Connection leasing was first introduced in Citrix Zen App Zen Desktop 7.6. What is connection leasing? Difference between LHC before 7.x and connection leasing. The connection leasing feature increases the SQL Server high availability by enabling users to connect and reconnect to their most recently used applications and desktops, even when the site database is not available. Connection leasing is enabled by default and introduced from the version 7.6, each controller caches. User connection stores in the following folder path when launch first time. Does connection leasing allow users without a current session to connect to Citrix apps while the database is down? The answer is yes. The delivery controller will keep a list of previous connections from the user. Those previously used connection parameters will be used in the future if the database is unavailable. The default time frame is two weeks, but this can be modified with PowerShell. What is the order of precedence, from highest to lowest, for the different policy types that can be used to configure Citrix policies. The following are highest to lowest policies precedence order. OUGPO Domain GPO Site GPO 
Citrix Local Policies Microsoft Local Policies How to Implement Policies in Citrix The Citrix policy can be applied through console management on following three levels. Farm Level Citrix Server Level Policy If my policies are stored in Active Directory instead of ZenApp, do I need to run the policy export utility? The answer is no, the export import is only for farm stored information. For AD policies, you will continue to use them. What is a Citrix ZenApp data store? Data store is the Citrix database which stores all the static information about the farm. Such as Farm configurations Published application configuration Administration accounts Server configurations what databases will be created during installation of Citrix ZenApp Zen Desktop? A ZenApp Zen Desktop site uses three SQL Server databases. Site, also known as Site Configuration, stores the running site configuration, plus the current session state and connection information. Configuration Logging, also known as Logging, stores information about site configuration changes and administrative activities. This database is used when the configuring logging feature is enabled, default is equals to enabled. Monitoring, stores data used by director, such as session and connection information. Can Zen Desktop work without database connectivity? What is the immediate impact for existing sessions if database goes down? Yes, Zen Desktop work without database from 7.6 version by utilizing the feature called connection leasing. No immediate impact for existing sessions. How do we configure high availability in Citrix database environment? We can leverage from following options. SQL Server Database Mirroring SQL Clustering Always on availability groups What is a data collector in Citrix? Data collector is the component of IMA used in Zen Desktop. It is a zone level role. By default, in a Zen Desktop farm, the initial desktop delivery controller, DDC, installed as the farm master acts as the data collector, performing desktop resolution operations during starting the desktop and managing the hosting infrastructure. Data collector exists as an in-memory database that maintains dynamic information about the servers in the zone, such as server loads, session status, published applications, users connected, and license usage. Data collectors receive incremental data updates and queries from servers within their zone. Data collectors relay information to all other data collectors in the farm. The data collector communicates information to the data store on behalf of the other servers in the farm. It sends and receives updates from all member servers in the zone. It stores dynamic information for each of the zones in a farm. For example, how many users are on a server, what the users are doing, what applications are being run on the server. What happens if data collector goes down? When data collector server goes down the servers in the zone recognize that the data collector has gone down and start the election process. In this example the backup data collector is elected as the new data collector for the zone. The member servers in the zone then send all of their information to the new data collector for the zone. This is a function of the number each server has of sessions, disconnected session, and applications. In turn, the new data collector replicates this information to all other data collectors in the farm. Even if a data collector is unavailable the servers will continue to function. The users that are already logged in will not be affected. What is a Citrix DDC or Delivery Controller? The delivery controller is the server-side component that is responsible for managing user access, plus brokering and optimizing connections. Controllers also provide the machine creation services that create desktop and server images. A site must have at least one controller. It also helps to power on, power off and restart VDA machines. What is the impact to end users if delivery controller is unavailable? If none of the delivery controller servers are available in a site, VDAs fails to register themselves with delivery controllers and thus will be unavailable for new session launches. Thus users cannot access their applications or desktops. However, the sessions that are already connected will continue to work. If just one of the delivery controller is unavailable, then VDAs instantly, 15 to 90 seconds, 
auto load balances to other available delivery controllers in the site. If specific service on delivery controller is unavailable then its respective resources will become inaccessible for users. What is a machine catalog? Collections of physical or virtual machines are managed as a single entity called a machine catalog. All the machines in a catalog have the same type of operating system, server or desktop. A catalog containing server OS machines can contain either Windows or Linux machines, not both. Each catalog contains machines of only one type. Server OS, a server OS catalog provides hosted shared desktops and applications. Desktop OS, a desktop OS catalog provides VDI desktops and applications that can be assigned to various different users. Remote PC Access, a remote PC access catalog provides users with remote access to their physical office desktop machines. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.